What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, I got a KIR, and that's keep it real. Um, on my channel, I try to give you guys my honest opinion, no bias, just based on what I see. Um, and I got to make a comment on Zoe Shimming. He made his professional debut. I actually didn't get to see it live. It was uh, broadcast from China, and I thought it was coming on later, to make a long story short. I thought it was coming on later, but due to the time zone difference, um, it came on a lot earlier than I expected. So I had to record it, one of the re-airs, and I just actually watched it. Um, I've been a little bit busy doing some other stuff. So I just watched it for the first time. It was a four-round fight in China. And like I said, I got a KIR, and let's keep it real. This dude does not look impressive to me at all. I don't know. Maybe it's me. You guys leave your feedback and leave your comments. I understand that he's an amateur standout. Uh, he won, I think, two gold medals, which is great. I've said time and time again, amateurs is amateurs. The pro game is the pro game. And there's not a guaranteed correlation between the two. Some people are great amateur prospects. And they, they do great things in the amateurs. And then they don't do as much in the pros. You also have people like Sergio Martinez that didn't have an amateur background or a very limited amateur background, and they still can make their name um, in the pro rankings. So I don't care about that. The gold medal is cool. I mean, put that in your um, your spare room, your den. Uh, put your medals up and, and show people, but that do not have shit to do with the professional rankings. And I was just watching the fight. Like I said, it's a four-rounder, and I wasn't impressed with this dude at all. I mean, he's with... One of the, the coaches with the most limelight, which is Freddie Roach. And I don't know what I was expecting, but I was expecting fireworks. I thought he was going to be like a um, Gamboa. I thought he was like an explosive. I didn't know much about him. I thought he was just like an explosive fighter that has all this power. Um, first of all, let's talk about his opponent. His opponent was a guy named Valenzuela. And he was 18 years old. He looked like he was... 10 to 12 um, years old. He just looked really young. And, I mean, that's not Zoe's fault. But the guy looked really young. You could tell he probably didn't have that much experience. He's, he's 18. Um, Canelo turned pro in Mexico at age 15. This this guy was from Mexico. Um, so, realistically, if, if anything, maybe he turned pro at 15 like Canelo. So, he's been fighting for three years and turned pro. And that's being generous because not everyone turns pro at age 15 like Canelo, even though they are in Mexico. Um, so he was in with someone who was very inexperienced, and he really couldn't move the dude. I mean, he landed some shots, but at the same time, um, his opponent, Venezuela, kept coming forward, kept pressing his attack. I just don't think he had power himself or he had the, um, what's it called? The knowledge that he wasn't seasoned enough to to combat Zell. So, I don't know. I just wasn't impressed at all. I just, I'm not saying he's Garbo. Uh, he just looked real wild and, like, reckless. Like, like, he was rushing. I mean, I understand you have nerves and different things. So, maybe I'll, I'm, I'll watch his next fight or whatever and make another assessment. But just based on this, um, usually, even... From an early stage, you could see greatness. You could tell that Michael Jordan was going to be a problem in college um, if he ever made it to the NBA. You could tell Mike Tyson had devastating power at an early age, even though he was fighting less than competition. But with this guy, I, d I just don't see anything that really stands out as next level. Like I don't see him. I mean, he's in a smaller weight division, but... He doesn't stand out to me like Nonito Donaire or Gamboa or somebody like that where I'm just like, yeah, this is the person to really watch for. It was a four-round fight, and he's probably lucky because the way he was moving, he was looking like he was burning unnecessary energy. Like, in boxing, you're not supposed to exert more energy than what is needed. So just the way he was moving, um, it looked like he was wasting way more energy than what was necessary. He had his hands down low, his chin up, and plenty of fighters have done that. Sergio Martinez, Roy Jones Jr., but with the whole hands down low thing, 
I think people like Roy Jones Jr., especially, and even Sergio Martinez, they do it, but there's a certain level of rhythm that they have to it. This guy was just like really herky jerky and um it didn't it didn't look rhythmic it just looked like he was like wild like ha, ha, like he had ADD or something I, I don't I don't know he just he wasn't impressive he didn't look that accurate it looks like he may have stamina issues based on uh how he was moving it doesn't look like he has power to me and again he was in there against someone who is not really experienced so um if he were to fight Estrada or somebody who was more seasoned than his opponent in this fight I see him having problems someone that has head movement someone that has um, some level of power just based on how he was fighting so it's funny that Freddie Roach and from the articles I was reading and the videos I've seen online it looked like they were like Freddie Roach was really excited to to be training this guy and they're saying he's like the next Pacquiao he's gonna do what Pacquiao did and, and um just I guess put on for the Asian community. I just don't see it. I don't see him being next level. He just didn't look great. I mean, the gold medals are great, but this is no headgear. This is not the amateurs. So let me know what you guys think. I'm not trying to shit on this dude. I'm just giving you my honest opinion. I just didn't see anything that really stood out as like, man, this guy has devastating power. Even people like Gennady Golovkin, the jury's still out on some aspects of his game, but without a doubt, one thing I can say is head movement or no head movement, the flaws that I have seen, um, he still has devastating punching power. And anytime you have something that devastating uh, or that much power, it's automatically could pose a problem for somebody. You have to be more or less a technical skill boxer with, with common sense and not fight like a Sheeta fought. So Gennady Golovkin, even though he has flaws, he, in my opinion, can counteract those flaws just by having tremendous power, but I don't really see the flaws that I've seen with this dude. I don't really see anything that's going to leverage it out and, and give him just a superior advantage when he gets in there with someone with some power or someone who's a little bit more seasoned. So let me know what you guys think. Obviously, I'm not trying to deconstruct this guy's career as his first fight. It was only a four rounder. I'm just basing it all off of what I seen in the four rounds, I just wasn't impressed. His movement, like I said, it looked very awkward and herky jerky. It didn't look like it was systematic. He looked like he was trying to entertain the fans and every little punch he threw, no matter how hard or if it was flush or not, the crowd was like, Oh, like going crazy, like a high school fight or something. So obviously the dude has a fan base. He was in China. So that's probably um, a big reason just because he, he's probably well known out there since he's Chinese, but like I said, I just didn't really see anything next level about him, um, so I'm curious to see what Freddie Roach is going to do, and, and another thing, he was taking some shots, it just so happens the 18-year-old probably didn't have enough um, power to really phase him or, or derail his own game plan, so that's just my opinion, another thing, Freddie Roach is not known for training defense, so just getting hit like that with someone with more crack. Uh, I don't know how it's going to fare for him. So let me know what you guys think. If you watch the fight, leave your comments. Let me know. I don't, again, I don't know much about his background other than he's an Olympic two-time gold medalist or whatever. Um, and I seen an Ellie Secback video where Ellie Secback titled Zhao Shimming killing the speed bag. And it was horrible because he was like barely hitting the speed bag. Like I'm, I'm used to seeing, I've seen like Victor Ortiz or Floyd Mayweather or Canelo, and they're like, bah, bah, bruh, rah, rah, rah. I've seen Ali, and they really were like demolishing the speed bag. They were hitting it fast and had their whole little system down, but he was like messing up. I don't know. It's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Zhao Shimming, is he the real deal? Is he the next Pacquiao? What do you think? As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Until next video, it's Ego signing off.